Let's talk about the cost of living. Let me start with you, Siobhan. You are a member of the governing party. Lots of pressure, not just from opposition MPs, but also from politicians on your own side about the cost of living crisis. I, I assume it's probably the biggest issue in yeah. your inbox uh, right now. We're all due a tax rise in, in April. Mm. Lots of politicians of all sides don't think this is the right time, do you? Well, listen, I really wrestled with this vote and I am still very, very uncomfortable. I'm looking to the Chancellor uh, to set out uh, why this is absolutely still necessary to support the NHS and the social care system because, as we understand it, finding that money from elsewhere is incredibly difficult. However, the impact on people and their purse, particularly with the cost of living crisis going up and inflation uh, and, and the energy issues that we're facing, means that we have to look at all of the issues in the round. The spring statement is only next week. The Chancellor has proved himself time and again to be very creative in his solutions for, uh, for the country. And I think that the public will be looking to him uh, for solutions, but he also needs to be honest and fair with the public and not come up with sort of one-off schemes and, you know, windfall taxes and things, because this is going to go on for a very long time. So if we are going to put uh, systems in place to help families, then we, they need to know that they can plan going forward. Toby Siobhan says, and the government say the money is needed for the NHS. Well, I mean, government money certainly is needed for the NHS. The government are running a monstrous deficit. What we have proposed here is a, a tax rise on working people without a plan. There is no plan to go with it. It's just generally going into the uh, in, into the funds. But there's nothing there. Um, when when the government have um, been asked to uh, consider whether the oil companies, who've seen quadrupling in their profits, um, should be expected to make a contribution, they go through extraordinary contortions to tell us why that that's not possible. And Siobhan says it's a one-off uh, thing, that um, this is a, a problem that may be going on for some time. Rishi Sunak's proposal at the moment is we'll give you 200 quid now and you can pay us back when things are better over the next five years. So it's utterly inadequate and it doesn't make any economic sense because either they're saying this is a long-term problem, in which case the proposal that Rishi Sunak so far got is entirely the wrong one. It's building up your debt in the future with a very small contribution now. We've also got, of course, the council tax rise that his budget baked in. Every single single council should be get, um, increasing by 3% or, or they will be have to uh, implement cuts. So in a whole variety of ways, this government's, contribution, government's um, tax policies are going to hit working people who are already struggling, nothing there on property wealth, nothing there uh, on the extraordinary growth in profits that organisations like the oil companies have uh, uh, seen, uh, and instead an expectation that working people will pay these extra taxes. Siobhan's desperate to come back. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, I, you only need to look at the history of windfall taxes to know that they don't work. They're in economically illiterate. It's, it's easy populist attempt at politics to say let's hit the big businesses but ultimately we've got to come up with sensible things and actually I want to see targeted measures I want to see so we hit, well, I'm on the DWP select the committee the tax on the privatised utilities work I, 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 I'm on the select committee select committee let's find policies that actually work for families the, the, that would work the, for me let me speak uh, talking over me is not a good look. Um, I, it, I was, I'm on the D DWP Select Committee. We heard, heard evidence the other day from charities and economists. Actually, let's find targeted measures that help the families most in need with this cost of living crisis that we know is going to go on a very long time. The public are not daft. They know the government's just gone through a pandemic. They know they're having to manage public purse. We've got to warn out very carefully. And I think that looking at sensible policies is... is we could do a whole show on that. And both of you are very passionate.